Cohen. Hi, this is Rabbi Daniel Rabin, Rabbi of the Northeastern Jewish Center. And today I'm here at the MND of Victoria, the Motor Neuron Disease of Victoria's uh, head office. And behind me is a beautiful quilt that was designed and made by various people who, had, who have suffered from this very drastic and terrible disease. And I believe, you know, many of you have, are probably not aware of what MND is, but fortunately, fortunately thanks to social media, and uh, as it's called elsewhere in the world, is ALS and the Ice Bucket Challenge, it's really, it's really brought this whole, uh, this whole disease to the forefront and into people's awareness. And I believe there's a very beautiful message from our portion this week, the parish of Ra'a, which I think relates to this whole social media campaign that's gone on about this particular disease. Our Torah portion this week lists once again the non-kosher species of birds that we as Jewish people are not allowed to eat. And one of those birds is known as the chasidah, which is translated as the kind one. And many of the commentators wonder why call a bird, which we are told not to eat, by the name the kind one. Surely that should be on the list of things we should eat if it's called the kind one. And our sages explain that this particular species of bird was only kind to its very inner circle. If you belonged outside of its circle, it didn't want to know you. And, the, and even more than that, it may have been, even been cruel to you. And therefore the Torah was telling us the right character traits we need to have is that kindness needs to really be beyond just your inner circle. You need to really care about all those around you. And I think that's what the social media campaign has tried to do, to really bring to the forefront that there's out, other people out there who need our kindness. And I'm very fortunate that uh, uh, Kathy Nightingale, who's the, the manager of fundraising at the Motor Neuron Disease of Victoria's office, has allowed us to come here and film today. And I wanted to thank you for your efforts. And uh, if you could just tell, the, you, you know, you were telling me earlier about this uh, huge expense that people have. Thank you. Yes, Rabbi. Um, in Victoria alone, there are almost 500 people that we've helped um, this past year with motor neuron disease. And we provide them with a variety of services, but one of the most important is that we provide them with equipment at no cost to them. And this is a huge expense for people with motor neuron disease, so it's really important that we continue to get funding for that because we only get about 15% of our whole funding comes from the government. Amazing. And look, you know, those of you who, are, who, have, who have really done the ice bucket challenge and poured that freezing cold water over your heads like I've done and like many others, and Kathy's doing hers on Friday. That's correct. Let us really think about the kindness. And it's not just about throwing the bucket of water over our heads. Obviously, that's just gotten the attention. But go out there, do some kindness. This organization could really use your help, as you've heard. And there's many other organizations out there who are doing a lot of good work. Mm -hmm. In Victoria, this is the only one. And I think if we can take this message that the Torah is trying to tell us, we can truly, hopefully, heal the world as best as we can. And hopefully the research will find a cure to this really terrible disease. And as I said, you won't have to have another, a job over here. You can find another job or retire. I can retire. And may that happen soon. Wishing you a Shabbat Shalom and see you next week.